Alright, well, it's converted to gas pedal. Um, hope I have enough video to show this. But it used to push that way, and now it has to pull because of the way the pedal is designed. But the, the old hand lever right there used to push it to accelerate. Let's see how light comes out and there's the pedal assembly. I had to cut the actual pedal off of this side and re-weld it onto this side so that it's really nice up by this, this fender wheel now. All right, back burn if it don't work. And I've already taken a scoop of dirt out. And you can see. Really, really, really awesome. What, what a what a big, huge thing. I've already taken a big chunk of dirt out of the, the hill right over there. And uh, how much more control. This was the old throttle. So it, it was a real pain in the butt because you get your hands up here working your bucket controls. And now we're no longer down here trying to, to keep the, uh, the RPMs regulated. So, far out. So the very last thing I need to do is is put a an adjustment in there so that it doesn't the RPMs don't go down so far that it dies is all that that should be a, well, a whole lot easier than I've done all day long. Dag burn it. That was an afternoon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The, the Minneapolis Moline GTA converted from hand throttle. Be taking that out, and make some more room to the uh, the foot pedal. And I'll, I'll be uh, fixing all the holes in the floor, and I got to put a, um, a little bit of a. I had the the old brake pedal used to come out this way, and I had to cut that off, and so I'll weld a, a piece that sits right in right in about there, so you can get your feet in there, and it works. Thanks for watching.